For centuries, we've been fascinated by the prospect of life on the little red planet closest to ours, a landscape not too dissimilar to Earth's, teasing the possibility of Martian neighbours. Space missions in the 70s found signs water had once existed, dried up riverbeds and frozen poles, but never, until now, actual water. We are here today to uh, present you our results and the fact that we have found liquid water in a sub on the subsurface, in the subsurface of Mars. An anti-climatic announcement perhaps, but the culmination of 13 years' work. That's how long the Mars Express probe has been orbiting the red planet, bouncing radar signals off the surface to see what may lie beneath. One mile below the ice of the southern pole, this is what they found. Can you see it? Scientists say this white smudge is proof of a 12-mile wide lake. It's uh, liquid and it's salty and is uh, in contact with rocks. I mean, there are all the ingredients for thinking that life can be there. So how excited should we be? We can't say for sure there's life on Mars, but we do know that every time we found liquid water here on Earth, we have found life. And that's at the bottom of oceans. It's in a really extreme salty conditions. And so if we extrapolate it to other planets, other moons, the possibility is there. More research will be needed to back up these findings, but the prospect of a hidden lake gives future projects somewhere to focus. In two years' time, Europe's first Mars probe will be boring two metres into the planet's surface. But to explore a mile below the ice and answer whether we're really alone in our solar system, they're going to need a much bigger drill. Martin Stew, News at 10.